Nice. Hey DP Racer fans, Matt Jackson here at Local Motors. We're down in LM Labs and I'm here to talk about how we went about prototyping the racer intake from Andre Costa's winning design from the DP Customs Custom Motorcycle Competition. So to start off, immediately following the competition, we contacted Andre and got the 3D files because he had done his bike in 3D. It was fairly easy to take the 3D surface files that he had, put those into Solid Edge, and turn that into a solid model that we could then manipulate however we needed to in order to change it, or uh, not really change the theme of it, but really just change the shape a little bit to match the tank and to match actual uh, dimensions of the intake on a Harley Sportster. So we found an Arlen Ness Big Sucker to use as the back plate for the whole assembly. So the whole assembly bolts up onto that. And we modeled the whole thing in 3D based on the dimensions of that uh, Big Sucker and the anticipated tank dimensions. And it's actually uh, in three parts. But we wanted to expand the envelope a little bit and our manufacturing techniques. So we decided we were going to try 3D printing this part. So I've got here a couple of different uh, pieces that we used in testing the technique. You can see this piece here is actually a, uh, it's basically the same shape as the finished product, but we were testing to see how large of an actual piece we could print on our printer. So that was very instrumental in telling us how many pieces we needed to break it up into. This piece is basically the same thing, but it was split down the middle. So we used this as an, uh, an experiment in different methods of joining together two 3D printed parts. And uh, we found you can be very successful using a combination of structural adhesives, um, the actual design of the part. It has a flange in there so that it fits together only in one way. And then actually plastic welding. Uh, we managed to plastic weld the seam through here um, using just a soldering iron and some scrap pieces of PLA. We also then used this to experiment with different finishing techniques and uh, Bondo actually works pretty well, so just as if you were doing finishing on a car. So from there we actually took the model and we split it up into three chunks. We did the cone piece that is going around the big sucker that uh, we actually made as one flat sheet of sheet metal we unrolled the 3D part into a flat sheet of sheet metal that got cut out on the water jet, then put that through a roller to get the curvature right again, welded it up, and then the other two pieces that were the uh, basically the top and bottom half of the actual scoop and then the neck itself, we 3D printed and they came out great. We bonded them together with some structural adhesives, uh, smoothed it out with some Bondo, and put it in some primer and took it up to the Del Prado Brothers shop to test fit it on the bike and it's looking pretty good. So um, stay tuned. We'll have more to come as you know it gets painted and gets put on the bike and uh, hope you'll stick around for the unveil of the bike about a month from now.